Welcome to another week of the White Claw Hi. Wrap Up. Hi, Hi, everybody. 70 Cal, Tangerine, Clementine. Sorry, Clementine. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. So, welcome to our New York City apartment. Yes, before we get started on the theme of this week, we wanted to introduce you to not only our New York home, but get this big guy up here. He hasn't been in? No, our oh. New York puppy. This is T Delano. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> He's the real star of the show. <laughs> See, now nobody's going to want to hear from us anymore. Yeah. So, last time you heard from us, we were outside in the egg chair. Well, Elisa's egg chair. And you can see behind her, you have in that little upper left-hand corner, this emerald green couch that stands out ever so nicely. Oh, yeah. And that is also Elisa's My dream touch. couch. <laughs> But actually, I think you like it more than I do. No, that Justine likes it more than I do. <laughs> that is true. Justine, by the way, is my alter ego, who everybody loves better than I. Who comes out when he drinks too many white claws? But she is sassy. She wears high heels and loves emerald green couches and short shorts. Yes. So, what's our theme today? Speaking of green couches, I would say that is your legacy. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it is legacy. Legacy is what we're talking about today. And so often, I know this is a big thing that I've learned over the course of time here, was legacy always to me was, what can I leave behind? What am I going to be remembered for? Is it real estate? Is it my business? Is it my family? And uh, I, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of legacy? Honestly, the first thing that comes to mind is everything that's happening in the world today. I think all of the protests around not only the U.S., as of, I think yesterday it hit all 50 states as well as um, 10 additional countries. I mean, this, this thing has sent shockwaves throughout the world. And, you know, when, when probably when George Floyd was in those, those last terrible moments of his life, he had no idea that, that this is what the result would be. But... At the end of the day, he has left a massive, massive legacy behind. And it's, it doesn't represent just him. It, it represents, you know, a, an entire cultural black movement, which is something to be extremely proud of. And, and it certainly moves me in, in a very big way. I think even to your point, if you've seen that picture of uh, his daughter, on the shoulders of, I think it's his brother, I'm not sure, but um, she's up there and she's looking at all these people, all these protesters, all these marchings that are happening and she, she straight up says on camera, she goes, Daddy changed the world. And that is really what legacy is all about. It's not the things that you can give, it's not the things you leave behind. Or it's the money that you leave behind, or the businesses that you leave, or the houses, or... The material, it's not, it's not necessarily about the material things. No, it comes right back to you as a person, having that vision, knowing who you want to be, what you stand for, how you want to be um, that, that, that person that you want to be, and the effect that you leave on people. Elise, I mean, this is a perfect example. We see it every night. How many people march outside on these streets? Oh, hundreds, yeah. Hundreds? Yeah. Hundreds, like thousands. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I mean, today, the people on the bike and that one, like how long were cars lined up for? Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's wild to watch this and to witness history and to be a part of it. And um, I mean, this is a very extreme example of that. But uh, another example was I was at a conference and someone was speaking and it was so powerful when they were talking about legacy and they said um, how many people remember the a teacher from high school who made a great impact on them and uh, about half the room put their hands up and surprisingly somebody called on him uh, or the, the presenter called on this person and said who is that teacher? And uh, I remember it. The guy said, Mr. Davis. And he then the presenter goes, okay, 
who that same day that you had Mr. Davis in school, who else did you have? And the guy couldn't remember. He couldn't say anything. And so the presenter goes, how many of us out there have done something or have affected people so that if somebody was to ask who influenced you, they would say your name? And that had a big impact on me. Yeah, I mean, I think that that goes back to, you know, it's similar to the, the George Floyd example where, um, you know, you can, you can do all of these big things in your life, but at the end of the day, the legacy is about your values and how you show up in the world on a day-to-day -day basis and how you make people feel. You know, one of my favorite stories is my grandfather who, you know, he was probably one of the most amazing people I've ever met on this planet, you know. At his, during his eulogy, the the quote was made, he was either he you were either his best friend or he hadn't met you yet. Uh, he was just a really, really good guy. Everybody loved him. And he had a lot of suffering and a lot of struggle in his life. He um, was widowed twice, t two times over. He raised seven kids on his own while juggling four jobs to put them all through school. And at the end of his life, he really learned to focus on how to make other people feel included, feel the best version of themselves. And there is not a soul on this planet who did not love Bill McGrath, really, really love him. And for me, that is legacy. That is, that is truly legacy. He wasn't doing it to be remembered. He wasn't doing it to leave a legacy. He did it because that's, that's how he showed up on a day-to-day -day basis in the world. That's such a great example because I never met him, but because he left such a legacy with everybody in your family, I feel like I have met him or I've known him because... I think you got some tears in your eyes. No. <laughs> Because I've just participated in so many things that have, from his bocce tournament to uh, being down in Myanmar where things happen. And so it's, it's almost like you, you feel like you're a part of it and that you're exactly right. That is what legacy is all about is being a person who has a story to tell, a story to leave, and you want to leave the place better than you found it. You always hear this cliche, leaving yeah, the place great, better than you found it. It's a great way to say it. So. Yeah, I think to that we should cheer to Bill McGrath. We should cheers to George Floyd and all those other amazing people out there. So what is your legacy? What are you doing to leave your legacy and go own it? Go own it.